All right, let's see if I can do this quick. The AMS automatic material system has this set, so when this one, which is almost out, empties, it'll go to the next one, which would be this. That's the same exact material, same tag. Even if it's not the same tag, I believe you can set it up in there to still go to the same material in the that I put in the system. It's going to take a minute, but I'll come back the second I... I'm going to try to catch it as it switches over. Okay. It's at that line. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it is off the roll. Oh, it's gone. It's going to take a second for it to recognize it's missing. And then hopefully it'll automatically go over there. I don't want to make it dizzy, but it's right there. Right by the zip tie. You see it? There it goes. I don't know how long you guys want to sit here, but I might wait a second until it stops. It's in the head. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's upset. It's, oh, here we go. Filament has run out. Please wait while the filament is being purged. So now it's going to remove anything, anything that was in there from the last string. See it right there? Cuts it off. Hope I don't make you guys dizzy. Now, boom. It's loading. So theoretically is this. If you're doing a 4, an A, up to 16, you get 1 to 4 of those, right? Or if you're doing one print like this one, this is a, it's actually a 20 or 19, 20 hour print. So I can I could just turn all four on, have four of the same materials in there, and that's it. As long as it doesn't mess up, and look, we're back to printing. Wild. Thanks, guys.